Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm just gonna talk a little bit to let people tune in, allow some time here. I hope you've had a good day. Um, the rain has started to come now. The children are now inside, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh. So it's great to see you everyone. Thanks for joining us. So just a couple of things to um, to highlight. Tonight we put turn the clocks forward. So we would hate for you to miss church <laughs> tomorrow. So hey, remember to set your alarm. Or nowadays they just do it automatically now, don't they? But um, just make sure that they are set and you join us tomorrow at church at 11 a.m. And you can do that by going to chefukushalifecenter.online.church. Um, and it'll be great to see you. We've got a great lineup ready. Uh, we've got some worship. We've got Terence speaking. We've got some other fun stuff in there as well. And we're hoping that our internet <laughs> works tomorrow because we'd love to do some live stuff with you. Um, and it's been a bit dodgy, but Luke has worked his magic. And so, so far, um, we're good to go. So 11 a.m. tomorrow. It'd be great to see you. So we're carrying on in Acts. I've got Acts 7 tonight. Uh, sorry, no, not Acts 7, Acts 6. That is right, Acts 6. So Acts 6, if you want to turn your Bibles, if you've read it already today or have had a chance to do that. Um, but I just want to um, concentrate on the first part of Acts 6. I've got a couple of thoughts here, 1 to 7. And I'm reading from the Message Bible. During this time, as the disciples were increasing in numbers by leaps and bounds, hard feelings developed among the Greek-speaking believers, Hellenists, towards the Hebrew-speaking believers because their widows were being discriminated against in the daily food lines. So the twelve called a meeting of the disciples. They said it wouldn't be right for us to abandon our responsibilities for preaching and teaching the word of God to help with the care of the poor. So, friends, choose seven men from among you, whom everyone trusts, men full of the Holy Spirit and good sense, and will assign them this task. Meanwhile, we'll stick to our assigned tasks of prayer and speaking God's word. The congregation thought it was a great idea. They went ahead and chose Stephen, a man full of faith in the Holy Spirit, Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, Nicholas, a convert from Antioch. <laughs> I hope I've said them right. Sorry about that. Then they presented them to the apostles, praying. The, the apostles laid hands, laid on hands and commissioned them for the task. The word of God prospered. The number of disciples in Jerusalem increased dramatically. Not least, a great many priests submitted themselves to the faith. And just that verse 8, Stephen, brimming with God's grace and energy, was doing wonderful things among the people, unmistakable signs that God was among them. So I got to thinking about how explosive the church was during that time. It, it was a growing church. It was growing in capacity, capacity and they, they, they couldn't, the apostles couldn't logistically lead the church any longer because it was exploding. And so um, they needed to put some things in place in order to cope with the growth. So they, or they went ahead and chose some men who were full of faith to help um, lead the congregation and it got me to thinking about change and how today we've had to change our situations suddenly we've had to stay at home some of us we've had to not go to work some of us have had to go to work and be on the front line some homeschooling the kids and it's been a sudden change hasn't it it's been quite a quick sudden change for us some people do well in change but some other people do not do well in change and, and find it a little bit difficult to do that. But in this chapter, we see that the, apostle, the apostles had to make a tough leadership decision in order to lead the people, in order for church to succeed and to grow. So some probably responded well to that. And some of the congregation might have thought, this is what's going on. The church was doing so well. Why do we need to change all of a sudden? When change comes, we get to decide how we respond. So we will embrace change positively. And then if we do that, if we, if we allow to um, embrace it positively, then we're allowing ourselves to grow. We've had to change the way that we do church. That's been a massive change for us. And, and, and it's a learning curve for us all. 
Um, and actually, for some, it might be a little bit unsettling having to go online to do church. What's that all about? But for some of us, we see the challenge and we make the best of what we have with what we've got. Church may look a little different right now, but our response should be to embrace it. Um, and if we respond positive about the change, then we will allow ourselves to grow. The apostles realized that without change, the gospel would not reach the rest of the world. So change had to happen because the change was willing. Church was willing to change. It says in that verse that a large number of priests came to the, obedient to the faith. Imagine what your walk with Jesus would look like if you opened up your heart to change. How much more could we grow as individuals? Imagine what our church would look like if we are willing to make the necessary changes to see more and more people hear the gospel. And, I, you know, I, it's hard for me. Sometimes I find it difficult to embrace the change. But today I want us to just to encourage you to res let's respond positively. Let's respond um, and embrace what's before us to respond positively towards change, because if we do that, then we allow ourselves to grow personally. And God's going to do amazing things with this church. We've, had, we've seen loads and loads of different people have, have reached, uh, that we've reached already by doing this online. And who knows what could look like with a church to come in the future, hey? But hey, let's embrace change today positively. So let me just pray for you. Lord, God, I just thank you for people here, Lord, who are watching. Father, I pray that you, even in these, uncircum these circumstances that, um, that we find ourselves in, that it can be a bit tricky and difficult right now. Lord, I just pray that you will help us to um, put our trust in you. You are our anchor. You are the one that keeps us steady and afloat. So, Father, I just pray that you'll help us to embrace change, that you'll help us to um, just respond positively and, and look for the positiveness in in this in the changes that need to be made lord help us to see things clearly through your eyes lord help us to look for needs help us to look for um, ways in which we can grow lord lord we just give ourselves to you and lay ourselves before you we want to do things that please and honor you lord in jesus name amen well it was great to spend some more time with you today. We are looking forward to church tomorrow, 11 a.m. Um, Shefakushlifecenter.online.church. Looking forward to being together, to be church together. See you tomorrow. Night night.